All right, thank you for joining us today. This is Field Point Ministries International, and uh, this is our podcast today. I have with me in the studio Dr. Toba Ajagema. Dr. Toba Ajagema, thank you uh, for coming on Field Point Ministries podcast today. Thank you for having me. All right, so today, um, you know, today is Sunday and people starting their new week today, of course. And uh, as they go about their business, uh, as this week begins, and by the way, to everyone that are listening to me, I'm your host. I am Solomon Oluwabiye. This is Fieldpoint Ministries International Podcast. And uh, so, Dr. Ajagama, quickly, what do you have for our people this week when it comes to trust in the Lord? What does this mean and what should people do about trusting the Lord as they go this week? Yeah, uh, I will employ and uh, beseech everyone going about, before they go about their day, there is someone who already know the beginning, the end of all matters and who is God. So I will want them to Place absolute trust in the Lord. Just as the book of Proverbs chapter number 3, verse 5, rightly put it. Uh, I will no, I will read it to number 6, to verse 6. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and it will show you which path to take. We are in the era where men are absolutely impatient to seek the Lord. It is easy for someone to tell you, wait for me for five minutes, and you waited five minutes. In about six minutes, ten minutes, you have not seen the person. You become so impatient. As a matter of fact, as, as a matter of fact, so many of us have built on God. When it comes to the time of waiting and trusting. So when does I mean? What, when do we have to wait on the Lord? Why do we have to? Trust in the Lord. He owns all things. He knows all things. Trusting is relinquishing all power, all control to the one who knows and your frame. He knows your frame. He knows everything about you. Even on the thing you claim you want to do, he knows every bit about it. So I will beseech everyone to learn how to trust in the Lord because trusting in any ability, our ability will fail us. Our strength and intellect will fail us. But when you put that trust in God, you trust him for direction. Oh, you can't miss it. You can't miss it. So as you go about your way this week, I plead you, learn to commit your will before the Lord. Bible says, commit your way to the Lord and he will establish your thoughts. It is only God who can bring to pass what you want, the desired outcome you want on your business, you want in your studies, you want in your profession. It is is only God who can bring it to pass. So, relinquish all your trust, your ability, your manpower, your head knowledge unto God and follow him as he leads you through this week. And it is my prayer as you follow his leading you will not miss it. And the Lord himself will definitely meet with you in all that you do this week and beyond. God bless you and have a wonderful week.
Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Ajagema. Again, to all our listeners, this is Viewpoint Ministries podcast. And uh, of course, you can get the listen on any of the platform you choose. And so, Dr. Ajagema has just told us today that as we go this week, we should trust in the Lord, that we should learn to trust in the Lord. Absolute trust in God. God owns all things. God knows all things. Ability and intellect will fill you, but your trust in the Lord is the key. So as you go this way, trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and all that is within you. Again, thank you, Dr. Ajagema, for coming on Few Point Ministries podcast. Thank you so much, sir, for having me. All right. Thank you so much. Harry, remain the same. Your host, Solomon. How do I be? Have a wonderful week, everyone. Thank you.